What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. TGIF, ladies and gentlemen. Thank God it's Friday. Friday morning, a little after 8 in the morning. April 26th, 2024. Heading to my uh, first and, as of right now, only service call of the day. We're putting in the Watts leak defense system. This product is a automatic shutoff valve that is installed on the incoming water supply of a building, whether it's a home or office, and it's designed to prevent a major water loss in the event of a pipe leak. We've done a number of these. We are a Watts dealer. Uh, we work with a lot of the major homeowners insurance carriers like Chubb, NatGen Premier, Pure, and um, a lot of these high-end carriers will pay to install an automatic shutoff valve like the Watts Leak Defense System. I'm about a few minutes from the job site and I'm gonna document the installation process. So stick around, smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to check out the Mikey Pipes Uncensored channel. Uh, today, right now at our shop at 1010 Central Avenue in Woodmere, we're finally getting gas service to our facility and we are documenting the entire process of the utility company digging up the street and bringing the gas to our facility. So check that out on the Mikey Pipes Uncensored channel. I'll put a link right up there or there and check that out and show some love. All right, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at this job site. If you guys can remember a few weeks ago, we had uh, the water service coming in with the um, the water meter and this pipe was essentially connected to right here. All right. Um, we did a lot of work. We removed the washing machine hose that connected the hose bib here to the main water surface of the house. We installed the Lancaster water treatment system. We put in the Amtrol domestic thermal expansion tank. We put in the Whale McLean indirect water heater. We added the Kalefi thermostatic mixing valve with a little drip of water right there. And we'll have to correct that at a later date. She's a dripper for sure. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Okay, we'll fix that later. Um, did a lot of work here. A massive, massive project. The washer and dryer got switched over. Um, what's going on with that? I don't know. But that looks like a gas control valve for a fireplace. We changed the sump pump there. Anyway, here is the leak defense system. Um, open up the box. You're going to see there's some writing on the inside cover. You got the phone number. And one of the first things you're going to see, if this is your first time installing it, give them a call before you install the valve. And remember, don't forget the spring check valve. The reason why you need the spring check valve and this little doodad right here is because the system senses flow. It does not sense direction of flow. So if you have a back pressure or negative pressure, um, less pressure at the street side, you're going to have reverse flow and you're going to trigger a, um, a, an alarm. So we have a spring check valve here. Okay. Make note of the direction of flow. We want to go from incoming to outgoing here. So we got to install this somewhere here. We have a lot of good things in here. We have a power adapter. Okay, we have our wireless control panel. It still needs power though. This is a a uh, wireless point of leak detector. Okay, and here is the control module. Continuing to open up our box, I want to show you guys the actual valve itself. So there's that is. 
There's the one inch, there's the head. And we do have a remote sensor right there. Okay, we've got this remote sensor right there. All right, so here is the game plan, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to put our flow sensor on the outlet side of the water treatment system between this female adapter right there and that 45. Our actual shutoff actuator valve, we're gonna install on that horizontal piece of one inch and I already have the piping uh, dry fitted. So water service coming in. Make sure our directional flow is good. There it is, there's that arrow. So we have our domestic water coming in from the left side, passing through the spring check valve. We have a short little one inch brass nipple going into our valve actuator. And then we have our final male adapter to adapt to our copper. On the opposite side, I got creative. I didn't have more than one one inch female by press Press by female adapter, sorry, I'm going to call it the right terminology. There's a one-inch press by female adapter. There's that sensor. I didn't have more than one female adapter, so I threw in a one-inch IPS ball valve there. So it gives me the threaded connection. And then I threw in a male, a press by male adapter there as well. So... This will be before the filter. That'll be after the filter. The reason why we're doing this is because this thing, um, this thing, this Lancaster water treatment system, once a week, it's going to do a backwash sequence that can last up to a half an hour. And that's how it replenishes or rejuvenates the media, the layered media uh, that's inside this canister. When it does that, this system's going to sense that flow, which, hey, it shouldn't be there. And it's going to turn off the water to the house. But we don't want to do that. So we're installing our flow sensor after the water treatment system, our valve before. And the purpose of that point of use leak sensor is that should this malfunction, it's still going to turn off the water to the house and preventing a significant water loss. Make sense? Perfect. Let's go. All right. So there is the electronic valve. There is our one-inch spring check before that. There's our flow sensor. It's mounted on a vertical installation. If you need it horizontal, you'll turn this 90 degrees, that little sensor right there, and you'll line up the dot um, being perpendicular to the valve. But always call watts first before making any changes because this did come factory. Uh, we have enough slack on the power wire or communicating wire to connect the zone actuator to the actual flow sensor. Uh, we actually took the liberty and zip tied the wiring for our Lancaster water treatment system. Um, so we are good to go. Right now, since the house is still under construction, we have the module right here and that POL, that point of leak wireless sensor in the box. And once everything is situated in the house, we'll configure Wi-Fi and all that other good stuff. If you're not calling Mikey Pipes, you're getting screwed. There you go. Thank you.